Hello everyone, it's I, the man who cannot be denied, at least when it comes to a good creme brulee. Me, Mr. Big T. Anderson, and today we have ASC Dungeon. This is from Newgrounds, as you can see, and we're going to take a little bit of a look at it. Just for you, just so you can kind of see, get the flavor of it. If you want to play it, you know the link's always down below, and you can always give it a crack yourself. First thing that comes to me, this feels a lot like the old kind of Atari-style graf graphics. I believe it's called ASCII. I actually have no clue, so if someone wants to correct me on that, go right ahead. But, uh, let's see here. I mean, the only thing I'd say, the art is, I mean, it's fairly simple. It is what you see. Uh, the controls are a touch floaty. And that's kind of, almost fell off there. It's kind of a problem, especially when you take into account that you are platforming. It seems there's almost like a momentum, like you're on ice, and that's not the greatest thing in the world. So, pardon me for a moment. Trying to play this, I mean, the controls are pretty simple. You can do this one-handed. You, you use the control key. You don't have any special abilities, up jumps... There we go. I mean, it's a nice little look back into how art has really evolved in video games, but other than that, I mean, if you like those maybe like Atari style games, I could see this definitely being useful to somebody. I could see them definitely enjoying it. So, let's see here. What's up there? Come on. Take the hit. Green sword. I have my pokey stick. But let's see what it does. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So it's automatic attack, so you don't hurt enemies. You don't get hurt by running into enemies with it. Okay. Okay. Don't have a key, though. I guess that's the white symbol on the ground. Okay. Skeleton key. I don't think that's it. Yep. And yeah, there's the slidiness coming into effect. You know, this, I'm trying to remember if it was a game, I think it may be Gnome Commander or Gnome Mountain, but that's really the only kind of game this is that I've seen before. This kind of a style is actually a bit older than I am, so. For me, it, it's kind of looking back, it's a nice little kind of a throwback. And, oop, I take it that is not good if we step in it. So. But, I mean, it doesn't seem too difficult. I mean, it took me, what, three minutes? to get through the stage, which... I mean, I know that some of these games are well known for being a bit of a difficult one. Hmm. Probably don't want to touch those. Or that. Carefully. Easy does it. We don't want to scare. I don't know what those yellow drops are, but I like to think they are buttered mashed potatoes. And those red ones are flying raspberry scones. Why? Because I can. Use your imagination here, folks. That's what this stuff is for. Let's see, can I... Hmm. Can I not jump up there? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Sorry, my medication's kind of kicking in. I mean, one thing I would kind of suggest maybe is an ambient, like, music, even if it's... Even if it's just, like, something ambient for the period. Oop, there we go, so... Oop, took the hit. Okay, there's a heart over there, so... Here we go. 
Well, that was the dungeon, and I'll leave it here so you guys can give it a crack. Let me know what you think, and have a good one. Ta-ta.